Hello insiders. A very happy Tuesday and welcome to a brand new episode of the News Flash. My name is Abhinav and I'm back with a few more updates this week. But before we begin, I'd like to apologize for the bad voice quality in last week's video. And I'm really hoping that you won't hear any background noise in this week's video. Let's get started with our updates for this week. The very first update is actually a sneak peek into the new Blur editor in Studio. We are working on a new Blur editor in Studio. Now in Studio, you can blur faces, people, license plates, logos, etc. all without losing views. With improved blurring features, you are in control. With both face blur and custom blur, you are able to modify the duration, position and size of the blur. You'll now be able to choose between oval and rectangle shapes in custom blur, making it easier than ever to tailor the blur to your use case. With a sleek and modern design, blurring faces and objects is now easier and more enjoyable than ever. The next update is on the ability to change your AdSense association in Studio. Starting this week, you will be able to change your AdSense association under the monetization tab in Studio. This setting was previously accessible in Classic Studio and we have just finished migrating this over to New Studio. Given this is a sensitive action, you may be asked to verify it's you by logging in and completing two-step verification. As a reminder, you shouldn't have to change your AdSense account unless you have made a big change like moved countries. If you still need to make any changes to your AdSense account, you can edit things like account access, billing information, or forms of payment without creating a new AdSense account. The next update is on the adjustable timestamps for the video copyright edits. Editing those pesky copyright audio claims is getting more flexible with our newly added ability to adjust the start and end points of the edit. In the claim details, select to trim out or mute the claim and adjust this change to best fit with your video. 100% of creators should see this in studio within the next week or so. Let's move on to announcing the winner for last week's trivia. I asked you, when was the first video uploaded on YouTube and what was its title? The answer is Me at the Zoo, which was uploaded in April 2005. The winner of last week's trivia question is Marco JP. A huge shout out for being so quick in replying to these trivia questions. Congratulations on the win. For this week's trivia, I'm asking you a chocolatey question. I'm actually a chocoholic, you can say. I love chocolate. So tell me, which country in the world consumes the most chocolate per capita? I'll see you all next week. Till then, stay safe and have fun.